Hello and welcome to, I guess, episode 3 of New no Moria. I have played this game in ages and I do love it. And I decided, even if no one watches these videos, I still want to record it and put it up on YouTube because... I don't know. Don't ask, but I'm doing it. So, we're going in episode number 3 here of Land of Blazes. So, like I said, I haven't been in here for a while, so we're going to have to get our our grounds here a little and see what's happening so let's pop in there and see what's going on okay so yes I remember I was in the process of increasing my wealth so that I was putting down floors and these guys were digging down and clearing the crap out of this so I was getting tons of copper, all kinds of things here. And I haven't dug down any further than level 7. So let's go back up. We got torches all up around the place. We're looking pretty decent here. We got our, our dormitory for the people to sleep. We have our storage area for food and drinks. We got distillery going, kitchen area. This is our... Uh, medical area so we haven't really expanded out much here so that's okay well, let's go above ground for a minute let's take a look here so we got plenty of fruit and veg to be going on here um, trees are finally getting planted this is a birch sapling grove so there's gonna be a good amount of lumber, lumber there and we got the pine grove there here is our apple grove and this is going to be our orange grove that's not too bad. The area is all spread out. Looks like someone dropped a copper helmet, helmet and breastplate there. That's not too bad, but we are still nice and isolated in. We're sitting on 43 drink and 658 food. And we got our two wells set. We got a nice sized yak farm area. Again, we're keeping one male and the rest are all going to be female. So they can populate away. I think we're doing good so I think the next thing we're going to do is since this area seems to be getting itself moving let's uh, let's work towards some tinkering stuff so let's get these guys trucking here. There we go. So one of the things we gotta do is there's diplomat, diplomat stuff that's gotta go on here too right so we got builder, miner, rancher, manager, and yeah, yeah, woodcutters good professions look okay no disease so that's always a good thing uh, kingdom diplomats let's go back for a minute so these are friendly distance is two days 15 hours so we gotta build this guy a nice room I think too right so So we gotta get some trade installs going on here. And we also gotta get military area built. So first off, let's get some tinkering going and then we're going to uh, work on some traps. So build, workshop. Key, nope. Military mechanism. So, Paul. Oh, you're not there. Okay, so I'm gonna unmute Mumble here. Unmuted and unmuted. Hey, Paul. Yes, sir. So, what do I need for a tinkering, tinkering bench? What do you mean, as far as tech goes? Yeah. Well, all you should need for a tinkering bench is basically a sawmill. Um, a carpenter, and that's it. Okay, so I got that, but I mean, like, what do I need to to get him to start making like traps and shite? You gotta have him tinker. Well, you gotta have the the one that he they had to have somebody assigned to the tinkering bench to research. I don't think it's called tinkering bench. I think it's called something else. Uh, no, there's a tinkering workshop. I th I put down. And what else do you have there for tinkering? 
under tinkering. Machine shop and engineering shop. Give me a second. There's a tinker's bench, a uh, machine shop, and an engineering shop. Okay. So, one of the things we're looking at doing here is. So, we get here. What's this? That's blacksmith, smelter, furnace, forge. So we also need to build, because we got to get ready, if we're going to start doing some things up here, we're going to want to have some metal working going on here, so we're going to need... Need a tinkerer's bench. Yeah, I got that. You got it down already? Yeah, they're just building it now. Okay, then you need a machine shop to craft parts for metal bars okay. before the tinkerer's bench can go down. Oh, okay. Because it need, the tinker's bench requires a wrench, and I think to make a wrench, you need a machine shop. I'm not sure. I don't know if you can make a wrench in um, your uh, metal crafter one or not. No. Oh, smelter. Furnace. Forge. So build, workshop. You mean metal worker? Yeah, I'm not sure where to make a wrench. Yeah, metal worker does craft tinkering and statues from metal bars. Okay. Brian, what's the password for the server? Star Trek? Paul, tell him the server I'm going to mute for a sec. What? Fools. Alright, okay. Craft mechanical parts from metal bars. Assemble mechanisms and traps. Forge metal bars, so the blacksmith makes metal bars. Alarm bell, bell, peel, hammer. Capital S. Cap Pickhead, but where's metal bar? Hmm, let's see here. Okay, so blacksmith doesn't have it. Forge. Steel bar. There it is, metal bar. And even, oh, that's it. Okay, so... The smelter. Any wrench? Unmuddled okay. and unbeaten. Did he give it to you yet? Ghost? He he's having a problem connecting to it because it's giving it's trying to give him or uh he's it's asking for a password but it's not giving anywhere for him to put the password. Right, because he has to edit it. So he has to try to connect and then go back, right click on the server. No, when when it's not going to ask for the password right away, so when he goes to connect, it's going to prompt him saying, uh, in, input password. Okay. And it looks like the smelt makes a wrench. Okay. 
the smelter. But I need any coal and any wrench to do it. No, that's to smelt an old coal. That's a uh, smelter will smelt it down. A worn oh, wrench. Okay. So if you had a worn wrench, you could make a wrench out of a uh, wrench, you know. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I need to make bars, so it looks like the uh, forge makes the bars. Yeah. But how do I make the metal again? You need a forge. Okay, I got the forge. But it says any metal. Yeah. But when I when I drop down, how do I make metal then? It should be any bar. Um, hold on. No, but I have like a bunch of copper Brent ore and stuff like that. So. From Brenton's server by the server. So how did I how do I turn that copper ore into uh, metal? Uh, you need a forge. I have the four. Okay, then you should be able to make it. Chat room one. Ghost one white move to chat room one. Okay, I see it. Any ore. There it is. I gotta make a bar right. first. Okay, so now I need someone that's gonna be right. working. To the population. Dripped underscore black Oh, Mr. Back Blacksmith. Ghost one white entered channel. All right, Brendan, this is my uh, cousin, Thrift. Hello. Hey, Thrift. And this is Bren, my uh, Canadian friend who runs the Mumble server. Hey, hockey's starting soon. Yeah. Who cares about hockey? I'm from Minnesota. It's kind of a passion here. Yeah, Brendan's a nerd. Yeah. No. Nah, I could care. I could give two shits about hockey. You gotta be careful where you say that. You might get knifed up in your part of the world. No, no. We're not the stereotypical ones that you, uh, Canadians that you Americans think we are. We're not as seen on TV. So I should be okay with uh, using copper to get these. Oh god, yes. Especially if you're just starting off, copper is going to be the only thing you're going to have. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he had to he had to head off. Yeah, I just wanted to get him on the server, so yeah, they're on his computer. Yeah, no worries. Sorry about that earlier, I forgot you were recording. Yeah, no worries, dude. Okay, so then I get the bars. So what do I do with the bars after they're made? Then your guys you should be able to go to you. Where did I tell you the match was made? Give me a second. The machine thing? No. You playing the Moria, Bren? That I am. So how extensive is that game? Like, does it have a lot of end game stuff to do? Or what's the purpose? The only objective, the only objective of the game is to make sure your your city survives and thrives against the mants and the ants and the pricks and the ogres. It is a very very complex game. I'm gonna be honest with you. Craft mechanical parts from metal bars. Machine shop. Craft mechanical parts from metal bars. That's what I want. A cutting wheel. Oh great, where the fuck do I make a cutting wheel? Yeah, machine shop you need. Then what makes a cutting wheel? Um, I'm pretty sure stone mason or stone cutter. Oh, is it the same one that the uh, saw blade I had? think so, pretty much. You know how in 
in uh, Minecraft uh, Ghost, where you can build trap, or you can build like trap doors and stuff like this, mm -hmm. or and you use like redstone. Mm -hmm. But instead nope. of using redstones in this, you use um, axles and gears oh. to do it in the gearboxes, and you power it either uh, by you can make a steam engine that. now, which is pretty cool. Or you can power it by, blacksmith. yeah. You or you can power engine? it by uh, solar power. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this that I haven't even touched that people has done. And some of it is really out there. It's basically Minecraft, but instead of you doing it, you're ordering your people to do it, and you're kind of making a kingdom to do it. And your kingdom gets worth by how much value it is, and <laughs> you can increase your value and stuff like that. You mean to tell me that I had to make that one table to make one bloody fucking item? What table? That machine shop table. No, but you're gonna use some wrenches wrench. for other things. So it kind of sounds kind of like it feels like a an Age of Empires esque game, except there's more defending and more thriving on building stuff. Have you ever Dwarf played Fortune. Uh, what is? It? Dwarf, no. uh, yeah, Dwarf Fortress. Think of it as a, a micromanagement game with uh, crafting, mining, and uh, defending all added into it. It looks interesting. I saw it on sale one time for like dirt cheap, like a couple dollars. I was thinking about getting it because it was like, uh, you know, it's Steam sale. It's like you see it and you're like, it's never going to be that cheap again. I might as well buy it. Um, Brendan, yeah. I can't remember how many hours. Can you see how many hours I have on that game? Uh, give me a sec. Of course the blacksmith's fucking sleeping. What a prick. You know what? The cook is going to become a blacksmith, too. That's my wee lad, Gimli. What? Watching, um, The Hobbit. Amoria. Bring it back, guys. You have put in 330 wow. hours, Paul. Holy shit. That's nothing. And I could spend a whole... And I haven't done anything in the game. It's just trial and error with just failed kingdoms after yeah. another. And <clears throat> I'm going to start... I want to start one, but I, I had one on a flat map and I don't want that anymore, because it's, it's just too easy. Um, and I want to try to get down to the deepest level you can go in the mines and stuff like that. And I got some ideas I want to do, but it's just time consuming. That's ridiculous. The longest I've ever played one game is only 38 hours. Jeez, that's nothing. Alright, be right back, guys. Yeah. Age of Empires 2 HD Edition, I played for 38 hours. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Dude, I, when Final Fantasy 7 came out, I played that game so much. Um, I had probably three separate saves of the game that I had maxed out the amount of hours you can play it, which is 99 hours. Like, that's how much it records up to, like, uh, how many hours you put in the game. Once it hits 99 hours, it... And uh, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, it won't record anymore. Cause I actually have that game on Steam. I bought it one. I bought that one when it was dirt cheap. Oh no, no, no! I think I actually bought it in a humble bundle. Can't, I can't remember though. Yeah, I am. I got it. I got it too. I haven't touched it yet though. But um, yeah. But I I got that game as well, and uh, I actually put. Mod onto it to give it more of a HD feel. Smooth out or I'm gonna do some videos of it at some point. Yeah. My actually my highest games are Magic 2014 and Gary's Mod, but I don't count those because I feel I think those are ones that I've fallen asleep in the menu. Ah, oh, great. 83 hours on Magic 2014 oh, and 62 on Gary's Mod. Actually, Gary's Mod, I can believe, because I've played a lot of Gary's Mod. 
I have a Gary's Mod server running right now as a test box. For Thunderpig. I love just getting on the game and screwing around. And, uh... Gmod Tower is pretty fun, too. Although, I, the only thing I ever build in Gmod Sandbox is... Like, just hover ships. That's about it. Cook sleeping. Yeah, I don't put in as much time on yeah, PC games as I do on Xbox, but that's because or on console. But that's because I'm not a full PC gamer. I kind of wish I was, but I'm not. Oh, that's why. That would do it. No, PC gaming is the way to be, dude. It's the best kind. There we go, the wrench is done, so now they're going to get that. I'm gonna have a the... massive. How big is your Steam table library? Over. Bring the chair over. Uh, it's like 30. Oh, God. Games or like okay, that. never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder how massive my Steam library is gonna be in a couple of years. Because right now I'm sitting at 152. But, granted, most of those games are from Humble Bundles, and I haven't even installed them, so. Hey, check them out. Yeah. You back, Paul? Check him out. I guess he's researching away. Nice. Okay, so that's pretty neat then. So then let's come down here to build, workshop, mechanism, engineering, which needs another wrench, with chair, and workbench. Well, I think I'm gonna hit the hay early tonight because I got a long day of school ahead of me tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good one, dude. You take her easy. You too. Night. Okay, so I got some idle people sitting around here doing sweet fuck all. So, Cook, why aren't you... Why aren't you making... Beverages here? Why aren't you brewing? Story? That's why. That's bloody well why. Didn't even think of that. That was stupid. That's why it's not doing anything. Get your drink on. Didn't even think of that. The blocks are down, so it's preventing it from building. Didn't even realize that. That was stupid. Okay, so why is the other people idle? Craft an item, so builder idle makes sense. Um, miners aren't doing anything, rancher doesn't have anything to do, tailor's not making anything, a woodcutter's not cutting wood. Makes sense. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, they're doing their thing there. Who's the dude here? Task Tinker. So that's Fez. Tinker's bench. Assigned is going to be Fez. Back. Good. Excellent. Engineer.
engineering shop. So you're empty, but I think that's because nothing's been invented yet for you. Well then, that's not too too bad. We'll let the cook brew up his drinks, because that's what he's best at. That's what he's there for. We're gonna have to get a doctor at some point set to do stuff. Yeah, okay, so let's go above ground. So trees are all getting planted. Good. Got plenty of food here. We are sitting in our tenth day of winter, which isn't too bad. So let's get uh, people moving here. Let's do agriculture and forge. Forge. Now I get some people out there working. get everyone going. Population shell. Yeah. Yeah, no longer be idle now. Everyone's working. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Then we have to expand. So I'm going to have to open up the door at some point and make an entrance off of here. I think that's probably the best bet. Let's expand the entrance up off this corner, this way, bring it back down, and then make a training area in there. And I think that will do the trick. Then that way I can get the uh, get the area, like the the entrance area, and get the training ground, and get my get my guards situated there. Kingdom worth? How are we coming along here? Total worth of what are we at? 9400 we're almost at 10k it's not bad floors are being replaced tinkering is tinkering don't even know like don't see any progress at all um might want to come here and build a little room for that guy because if i'm gonna Gonna be having him come in. Might want to get him a little area situated so that he can uh, let's get him in here. There we go. So that way we can make him a bed, put some furniture in here. Nice little room for him. And he can come in here. So what we'll do is we'll get a nice floor down for him. As you can see, the floor priority isn't exactly the biggest thing here. But it's getting there. Yeah, see, they got blocked up the yin yang the craft. Yeah, I got raw marble up, up the arse. 5400 raw marble. So that's just going to keep going. Drinks are finally getting back up. So, we'll, we'll get this all situated. 
Tinker has gone to bed by the looks of it. Yeah, flaws, Matt. How dare you go to bed? How dare you go to bed? So, let's see here. You back, Paul? <sighs> Boo. Okay, so I know we got a lot of cotton and stuff going on here too. So, uh, how are we doing on bandages? Where are we? I want stock. Stockpile. Cotton. Uh, no, I want stockpile. Overview, armor 2. Storage containers, no. Items. Cloth. There we go. I got 170 bolts of cloth, 50 bandages. Nice. That's good. Bandages are a good number. Okay. Can't argue on that. We get food built up of it, getting drinks built up of it. Yeah, we're laughing. How many drinks are you crafting to buy? 30 wine, and you're already up by 40. Not, we'll leave it be. I need grain, I don't have any grain. I have to wait. Mushrooms, I don't have any mushrooms, so. But that's my wheat field. That's my cotton field. That's my strawberry field. So depending, I might have to chop down some and expand the wheat field out a bit so that we get a bit more wheat because I want a lot more grain. We're looking at wheat farm here of 153 for the tile plot. I'd like to make that a bit bigger. Definitely need more wheat. Grain's important, especially for these guys, right? This yak pasture's got 85 food into it. So what is it? No, 65 food. So it's not too bad. One male, ten females. Yeah. And they got they got straw. It's just in the yeah. Wheat straw, yeah. They're just in the troughs. Normal trough, nothing. 15 in there. 21 in there, so that's 36. Plus 28, yeah. So that's 56, and 8 is uh, 64. Yeah, there we go. Harvest up the food. I might have to do some clippings here because these are they're apple trees so does this mean that these ones over here are orange? okay so let's come here I want to agriculture cut clippings there we go because then the orange clippings will get planted there. Then that'll be good. Yeah. Then once they're done, they'll plant them all there. And we're laughing. Oh, he is researching. Nice. Research away, you little bugger. Research away. Population here, let's see. Is that guy actually any good? Like, what's his stats here? Health is good, equipment's okay. Skills. I'm back. Fighting. WB.
pink green 23 What would you look at that? The guy that I picked as my blacksmith nice. has 23 for tinkering. So I'm assuming that the engineering table won't have anything into it until the tinkering table actually researches Right. It. So basically what you need is one dedicated person to be your tinkerer, and he should have the highest priority for that because it takes a long time to invent stuff. Yeah. Well, that's all he's doing right now. So I was sitting there yeah. wondering why my, my drinks kept hitting zero and why I wasn't uh, making any more. And it was the same thing I did before. I yeah. put down, replaced the floor, and since I was replacing the floor on top of the machine, no one would go to it. So I cleared that out, and that, that was fine. But yeah, he's uh he's tinkering away. I'm on my eleventh day of winter. Cut my orange clippings so I can plant up my orange grove. My pine and birch groves are already filled. So there's ninety ninety six trees in both in all those groves. So I got a little, little uh, supply of resources in here. I'm gonna once uh, a lot of the floor and stuff gets put down, I'm gonna start building the room for a diplomat. <laughs> and then. I can, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, thingy jig, um, boo, I can't think of it. Then I gotta build market stalls. Yeah. So, with the, um, market stalls, like stone, Army. marble stone, and dirt and that stuff doesn't give you anything, right? Marble will. Um, but Marble I wouldn't waste it on trading it. I would anything. keep it if you have it, because you're going to need it to carve statues and stuff like that. Like... Yeah. Yeah, well, you can like carve, like, marble? stones, statues, and oh, trade and those for a lot more. Like 5,000. I've... I have a whole level of, of marble that I've pretty much cleared out. I still got a lot more to clear, too. So I've come to the theory that if yeah. you keep the area lit up, then I, I gotta go spawn, AFK for a few minutes. I'll be back. Mine out the whole area. Okay. So I'm working away diligently. So he just makes blocks. They're the stone mason. Stone hammer. Trough, knife, knife blade. A crude watch bench. So if I got the stone mason and the stone cutter, what are you missing out of stone? Stone carver. Don't have the stone carver. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, no, it's bone carver. And that's carpenter. I don't have a stone carver. Yep, I don't. There we go. Well, running out of a 
storage it looks like. Plenty of drinks, food's coming in fine. And they're gonna start crafting up all the stuff it needs for that. I mean, the floor is coming along. Kingdom is over 10,000 now. We'll get her all situated. Yeah, he's gonna take forever to research. He really is going to take for fucking ever. Um, so you need a workbench, a chair, and a chisel. And I bet you all the people that make it are sleeping. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Kitchen. Oh yeah, he does bread. But all the grain's gone, so that's probably what happened to all that grain is he uh he used it all to make bread. When the stone carver's done, we're gonna use the marble to go and get some stone done. Some stone statues. They're gonna come down, start mining with some of this. Then we'll come down and we'll get some uh She's she just fucked right off. She came down just like, nope, not having any of this. I'm going to bed. That's exactly what she just said. Yeah, look at these guys. That's wonderful. Get those wheelbarrows going. Yeah. Look at that. Professional. Weapon right through there. And that's just crap loads more marble right there, right? Make statues out of it. Oh, wow. Now he's just ripping right through it. Like, this is nothing. Nothing. He is a pro. Let him go. Nothing can outmine him. Uh, build. Furniture. Torch. Build. Build. Since it's already done, someone should be down here to place it pretty quickly. There we go. Come down, place your torch. Thank you. Light that. That's the ticket right there. There you go. Oops. And you're hungry. Like she, she's like, do fuck all. doesn't do much. Oh, I got sapphire. I can make sapphire statues. Ah, uh, cat, you're annoying. Go away. Yep, 
Got more copper showing there. Double torch. Satan. Wait a minute, this is the first day of the season, isn't it? Nothing came. Who? Okay, that torch will get placed. So Speedy Gonzalez seems to be getting tired. And all fresh and awake seems to be slow as hell. That's what I'm talking about. Population. How many did you give me? One, two, three. Okay. Okay, you are going to be uh uh what can we get here? We need haulers and stuff, so we're just gonna make y'all Miners for now. Just because that will get them all in. Looks like you're all in. Green. Uh, no, build. Green. Wall. Any dirt comp. Build. Place. Let's proceed. Sleeping. Move to. Okay, good. And then we go. 
Come on. Place that block. But someone runs out on ya. Come on, come on. Yes! Perfect! Okay. Population. Assign these. Uh, farmer. Wait, I should probably actually... Oh, okay, that actually did work out. Shit. Cause... You can be a builder. thing. Cause I want you to be where is it? Is it stone? No, miners do stone cutting, okay. Yeah, so you're fine there. Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay, so everyone's in. I need a jewel crafter, don't I? Cut raw gem. Okay. And... So what I think I might actually do is I don't need one, two, three, four miners. I guess I'm doing that. Profession. You'll get good at it, don't worry. I'm not gonna hold you to it. Oh, good. Research is getting up there. Okay. So we're we're making some progress here, guys. It's not looking too bad. So I mean we got uh some tanker tables down, we're getting everything situated, we got our first day of spring trucking along here. Everyone seems to be moving and grooving, getting things done. So I got a bunch of sapphires here, I know, uh, what do I got here, let's go stockpile, content, I'm sitting on what, 52 raw gem, yeah, so I mean, like, we, we got, we got a lot here, I got a lot of copper, a lot of tin, some silver, <coughs> maybe not so much tin, but, got a lot of raw marble, get rid of the dirt, yeah, see, we, we got a lot of stuff here. We got plenty of hide too, yak hide. Crap loads of seeds. Holy crap loads of seeds. Yeah, see, we got tons of stuff. We got copper bars, all kinds. One stick. It's for beating the 
the people that don't listen. So what we do, right? We have to discipline them. Oh my. I'll see. Perfect. Look at that. They planted all those clippings. That's phenomenal. I guess the storage is just getting full. Which probably means that I need to get more crates. Build, storage, crates. Crate. And we just do it like that. So. Okay, keep things good and honest. Why they all run around gathering up everything one by one. Got more sapphire there. See, there's tons of gems and stuff down here to work with, so. I'm not too concerned. Terrain, mine wall. I'll just take this out to even it up. And then we'll put a torch down in the middle of it. I think that should do the trick. That'll finish it all up at least. And I'll keep it lit up too. Which will keep people happy. Love how the guy comes down with a wheelbarrow and only picks up one piece. I guess the other miners must all be asleep. What happened to my speedy Gonzales? Come on down here, you bug bugger. There you go. There we go. And two builders come down, place down the torches, and we're good. That'll keep the area lit. Yep, torch number one, torch number two. And ta-da! All nice and lit. Okay. Well, looks like some grain got done. Yeah. So the guy's making up his bread. <laughs> it's just grows back and gets planted so quickly. Let's see, the farmers will all keep up with it today. Let's go, yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. They'll get that all situated. What? That run's almost done. Floor's almost down. They take time, but they're they're getting there. That's for sure. We might actually have something tinkered. Okay. So what do we got here? We're we're, we're slowly making it. We got our stone cutter. We got our tool crafters. So the next things we're gonna need to build. 
Uh, craft tinker and statues from raw metal bars. Craft weapons. Craft armor. Ball beam. Hammer. Okay, we will, we'll worry about that stuff after. But, like, gem cutter. I need a workbench, a chair, and a cutting wheel. So the carpenter should be taking care of that, right? Crate, crate. Yeah, see, he's doing the crates, and then they're going to do workbenches, and then torches are set. Right? So it's going to get there. Then the blacksmith here should have the cutting wheel. Yeah. Craft cutting wheel, but for that to work, I need forge to craft up. Craft to. And say fifteen. There we go. So then the guy will come back and he'll do what he needs to craft that up. See, so he's got a bar, he's cutting that up. So then that's your cutting wheel, so that should give us one of that, and then the bench should come after the crates get finished. The stockpile contains nothing. Transfer. Stockpile, I'm going to call this. Main stock. Okay. This stockpile here was blank storage. This one here was fibers and bolts, so this is cotton pile. This one here is food and drink. one here is it's just gonna be bandages right <laughs> yeah band-aids boom okay plank storage so you can do a transfer from main storage to Yeah. Oh, okay. So then they're just sitting there like that. Okay, so if I look at main stock contents, I probably don't have any logs in here, do I? No. Nope, no logs. So I have to wait for the sawmill to craft them up. Which means that population wise, Chinese, I want to make one of these guys another woodcutter. Right? Because woodcutter, I remember, because it got two of a bloody idol. Woodcutter should be making planks. Woodcutter, carpenter. Yeah. 
wood cutting, wood carving, carpenter, yeah. Okay, bone making. Hauling. I mean, where is hmm. I guess not so that should be fine. Woodcutter should be this guy. Sawmill. Oh, I don't have any logs. Well, that would do it. Looks like it's fall and tree time. Yep. Tree's gonna fall. And now that I got logs, they're gonna start chopping them up. Yeah, there we go. See? That would be the problem. Got no wood to turn into it. Don't have the wood to do it. How can I do it? Clearing her out. Well, there we go. Solve that mystery. And that would do her. Okay then. So I think that's good. I got a good fill of No More for tonight. So we'll, we'll leave her at that. I know I usually like to keep these short, but you know, it always seems to creep into that hour mark. And it's really hard to keep it. I keep from doing it. It really is. I got five planks already. We're laughing. Yes. See, we got the blacksmith's going to do the bars. And you know what? Let's Let's keep this... Plank storage. Good. No bars handy. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, we'll leave that alone. I'll make a storage for that later. But we'll get there. Boards are gonna be crafting. Things will get placed. We're getting there. It will take some time. But again, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to try and make a few more of these because No More is just a, a, a good all around game, and I really want to get into the, the tinkering side of it to find out all this wonderful invention stuff and see what I can get in here and what I can get built and what things I can do with it. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give a like. Have any questions, comments, suggestions, put them down there. I'll get back to you or I reply to to my comments. I, I listen to the guys, you know. I, I, I like the, the interaction. So let me know what you think. And 